waterborne. As now, this meadow of seagrass, tangle of history, a nest of myriad mirrored faces. Poetry asks us to slow down a little bit, to look closely at the world. And in that way, we hear each other differently than we do with all the noise of the daily world around us. My husband was a PhD student here 20 years ago, and we dropped him off here in Evanston, and I fell in love with the university, the lake, the town, all of it. I joined the faculty here at Northwestern in the fall of 2017. I was so impressed with the kinds of resources that are put into research, the different programs, all of the kinds of things that you want as a faculty member, and it's an impressive faculty to be part of. One of the things that I always do to work, um, beyond sitting down at my desk to read the work of other poets, are the long walks that I take. And of course you can do that anywhere, but the difference in walking along the lake is an expansive one. There's a way of looking past everything to where ideas take shape. I have a poem called Illumination that begins, always there's something more to know. And always there is. Things that we have to keep trying to understand either through research or through a kind of emotional grappling with truth. One of my projects has been to confront the misapprehensions of history, uh, the erasures of history, and I think that in that way my goal is always to produce a kind of new knowledge, even if it just means bringing to light things that we have, as a nation, forgotten. How trauma lives in the sea of my body, awash in the waters of forgetting. In every resilient blade, I see the ancestors, my mother's face.